today we're going to learn how to create a custom tattoo sleeve design in Adobe Photoshop. Now to achieve this effect we're going to be messing around with displacement maps and also converting the image into a black and white pencil drawing so it looks really real on top of the subject. So to get us started if you're going to choose an image off the internet or if you're going to go into somewhere like Shutterstock, I got mine from Wikipedia Creative Commons. If you're going to go online and find an image that you want to convert into a tattoo design then firstly you need to convert it into a pencil drawing so here's a tutorial on how to do that or how to convert an image into a pencil drawing if you're not too sure but if you've got your own image that you've uploaded or an, an image that you, somebody's drew for you or you've drawn yourself and you've uploaded it and it's in black and white then that is absolutely perfect and everything that we need for this tutorial so don't worry about it having a white background as long as it is in just black and white then we'll be pretty good to go so as you can see from my image it's now converted into a pencil sketch and this is going to be really good for us so firstly you need to get an image of an arm if you're not taking a picture of your own arm if you're using one of the internet just for design purposes then you can find a lot of them on wikipedia creative commons which is a free file source online so once you've got that, just drag and drop the image that you're going to use into Adobe Photoshop. And I've got this one here from Wikipedia Creative Commons. Now we want to make a displacement map of this image. So firstly, make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl and J on the keyboard. And now you've got layer one on the right hand side. Next, go over to filter, blur and select Gaussian or Gaussian blur wherever you are around the world and set the radius to roughly about two pixels because displacement maps they always work a lot better when the images are blurred and it always looks a lot more natural as well so set the radius to about two pixels and then just hit OK. That's pretty much our displacement map but we need to make it black and white so to do that quickly press Ctrl, Shift and U and that will completely desaturate the image for us and that is now ready to go. So we're going to save it, go to File, Save As and save as a photoshop.psd file, save it on your desktop and name it displacement. Once you're happy, just hit save and with the maximized compatibility, just hit OK. So now we've got the displacement map saved, we want to get rid of it. So just trash that in the bottom right hand corner, get rid of it. And now we've got our original image to work with. Make another duplicate by pressing Ctrl and J and then drag and drop the second image that you're going to add the tattoo in over the top. So I've got this Angels at War image which I created earlier and as you can see it's in black and white but now I need to superimpose it on top of the image below. So I'll drag it to the right hand side. If you need to resize the image just go away from the selection, hold Shift and Alt and then just drag in the corner to resize it in scale. I'm just going to leave mine as it is because that looks pretty good for me. So once you're happy with the placement, just hit the check mark. Now, if you do need to rotate it, just go to the corners and wait for the curved arrows and you can rotate it around and, and mess around with it within the transform tools. But if not, just hit the check mark or press enter on the keyboard. Next, we want to be changing the blending mode. Now, there are a couple of blending modes to mess around with, but the two that work best for me are color burn and linear burn. So have a look at color burn which is pretty good and go down to linear burn as well which brings in a little bit more of the blacks of the image so for this one i think i'm going to stick with linear burn and that looks pretty good to me so i'm going to add a layer mask on top so click the camera icon next to fx in the layers panel and have your foreground colors set to black and white by pressing d on the keyboard and to switch between the black and white just hit x now go over to the brush tool so press B and have I'd say a fairly soft edged brush selected and your opacity and flow at a hundred percent now because the layer mask is in white we want to paint with black so just paint around the areas where you want to get rid of the tattoo so I'm just going to do this quickly now So that looks pretty good to me, but now we want to add the displacement map to make the tattoo really wrap around the arm and make it look really real or as real as possible. So select away from the layer mask so you've got your normal layer selected and then go to filter, distort and then select displace. 
have the horizontal scale set to 10, the vertical scale set to 10, displacement map is stretched to fit, and the undefined areas as repeat edge pixels, then just hit OK, and it's going to ask you to choose your displacement map. So select the .psd file that we made earlier named displacement, and then just hit open and as you can see it's really wrapped the text not the text the image around our subject's arm so it looks a lot more realistic now to add a couple of final effects to it i'd reduce the opacity down just a little bit to say about 95 just to let the skin come through a little bit more and if you wanted to lighten it up a little bit more or see it just change it to color burn and that's going to lighten it for you or you can just leave it as linear burn but that is how you create a custom sleeve design in adobe photoshop i hope you enjoyed this tutorial do not be a pen tool and please like share and subscribe to my channel Never come down.